Welcome to my multi-million dollar penthouse tour. In this video, I'm going to show you how I live as a 27 year old millionaire. But before we get started with this video, I have to say that my success did definitely not come overnight. And I definitely did not inherit any money or have a rich family. I am simply obsessed with my business. And as a result of that, I have a very high income. And if you are interested in how I earn my money, I will put a link to a free training in the description below this video as the first link that you can watch right after you finished watching this video completely till the end. So let's get stuff done. Okay, so let's start with the rooftop. This is my favorite part of the penthouse and that's why we're starting here. And I come here to do all my team meetings and my coaching calls. And this room inspires me a lot because it has a great view around the ocean and the city that I live in. It's also great for doing poker nights with friends or just having a cup of coffee at the kitchen island. Next up, we have this amazing pool area. I try to come here once a week to relax, but unfortunately it's not not 100% private because other people in the building have access as well. But that doesn't bother me too much because I can just put a reservation inside the app of the building and then I have the entire pool area for myself. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoyed the video so far, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Next, I want to show you my living room. It's a crazy big room with almost no furniture in it and that's because I like it minimal. And I just moved in here two months ago. I don't like to own things that I don't use that end up cluttering my space or being destroyed by my dogs. The floor of the entire penthouse is made of white marble, which looks pretty awesome if you ask me. I also have this nice leather sofa that I like to chill on to watch some movies and to do just that, I have a gigantic 85 inch Sony TV. This thing weighs more than some people and I just love it. I also use Sonos products around the penthouse for the entire living room. I just went with with the Sonos Beam and the latest version of the subwoofer. And of course, I got the PS5. I love playing video games. However, I'm not playing every day and I'm not an everyday gamer and I think you shouldn't be either. I only play like once or twice a month, but when I do, I play games from start to finish and I commit for a couple of days. So if you don't see me for five days, I'm probably hanging out on the PS5. And after that, I don't feel the need to play again and I can focus again on my business and making some money. And this mindset helped me a lot because in the past I struggled with stopping to play video games so I played for months and I didn't focus on anything that was producing any income so if you're playing every day try to do it this way okay next we have this nice bathroom right here as you can see it's floor to ceiling full of marble it looks amazing and it's just white it's just for the guests Next, we have our dining area and I really enjoy sitting here. Obviously, I eat here, but I also sit down with my MacBook to do some work, you know, to switch up the environment from time to time. And the good thing about this is it increases my productivity a lot. To the right, we have the main kitchen and behind this wall in the middle, we have my home office. On the left side is Eileen's office and my den, which is my favorite part of the penthouse where I can sit and enjoy some music or read some books. And on the left side, we have have the master bedroom but first let's go into the kitchen as you can see i have marble countertops a cooking island and lots of space i don't use the kitchen that much because i hired a private chef to do all my meal prep for the entire week if you would ask me what my best investment was last year it would probably be the chef and that's because it saves me so much time that i can then reinvest into my business behind this door there's another apartment for our housemate there's a full shower there's uh, our laundry and obviously her room. Okay, so next up we have this room. It's where all the magic happens to be honest. And no, I'm not talking about the bedroom. It's my home office. As you can see right now, this is the room that I'm recording this video in right now. It has a full bathroom, walk-in closet where I store all my gear that I need to run my businesses. I painted all the walls medium gray because I, yeah, I just enjoy how it looks on camera. And we also have this desk right here. And here I'm spending 70% of my work time that's why I need to make this desk as efficiently as possible and as versatile as possible because I'm running all my businesses from exact this spot. And what I'm doing here is creating my websites, doing meetings and creating content from here. And by the way, if you're interested in a full breakdown of my desk setup, let me know in the comments and I put a link for you into the description of this video where I show you exactly how I set up the desk for maximum productivity. Here's my setup on a single stand. And as you can see, even from here, you can see the ocean 
and some other fancy high buildings. Next, we have the den, and this has become my favorite place in the entire penthouse. This room connects my master bedroom with both our home offices. I use this room to invest time in myself by reading books or taking courses, or sometimes I just sit there and relax. I also use this room for meaningful conversations with other business owners. So now let's go into the bedroom. This room is pretty big with two walk-in closets, one for me and one for Eileen. It also has a full bathroom with two showers and yes, you heard correct. It's crazy, but it has two showers. If you get out of the bathroom and continue the hallway, you'll get to the actual bedroom itself. Sleep is very important to me and I want to maximize the quality of my sleep as much as possible. And that's why you can see that I don't have a lot of things in my bedroom. I just have my five things here, a bed, two nightstands, a TV that I only use when I finish the day early or want to be more comfortable than on the sofa, a mirror and some scented candles. And yes, I'm pretty obsessed with these candles because they smell so good. So you can see it's not nothing fancy or distracting here. And the absolute game changer for sleep quality is my phone because I don't keep it in the room. I keep it outside my bedroom on the charger in the den. And this helps me out a lot because I'm a person that's sometimes waking up in the middle of the night because I feel the urge to check my Instagram feed, which is completely dumb. And what I love most about the bedroom is the view and the access to the balcony because every morning when I wake up, I can see the ocean and the nice skyline view like here. Okay, so let's go outside. I'll show you the balcony. I have my barbecue right here and you can see how big it is. I even have a three seat sofa here. And right now in the morning, so I always sit here and just have a cup of coffee and enjoy the view. And another good thing about this view is that I don't need an alarm because the sun is waking me up gently in the morning and by gently I mean shining in my face with full power so I either have to wake up or I get blind. And yes, all of this is amazing and I'm very grateful that I'm able to enjoy myself at such a high standard but like I said, it didn't come overnight. I worked very hard to be able to have a business that can pay for all of that. And if you want to see the exact strategy that I use to build my seven-figure online businesses, then watch the video right here.